All right, so I figure I'll cover this because I've had a couple people ask me to. This is the Beta 75X. I have already done an unboxing and setup of the 65, so this is going to be basically the same same thing, but there's some other stuff that I wanted to cover in this video that I think will help people out. So, um, pretty straightforward. Comes with extra props. Comes with extra canopy. I don't care for the blue canopy. I'll be getting rid of that. Um, this thing is bigger than I expected it to be. It's it's so bulky and just feels super strong. I mean, I feel like you could just I mean, this thing will just take a beating. This feels a hundred times stronger than the 65X. Even the motor wires. I mean, look at that. You can't even... The 65X, I had problems with the motor wires ripping out of the motors. You can't even axe it. I mean, these you, you could run this thing through a demolition derby, and it's just going to hold up a ton better. So I'm excited about that. I finally get to beat on something. And I've seen a lot of people take the... Uh, receiver wires and run them out the front and then run them around the ducts and just dab them down with some shoe glue or hot glue or whatever um, I'll decide what I'm going to do with that I may just do like I did with my 65 and just do uh, oh, two zip ties back here doing like kind of an X and, and put them in those with some heat shrink that seemed to work really good on the 65 of course it was only one antenna so we'll see how that goes I do want to keep it nice and streamlined though because I, I really like going through gaps. I mean, this this thing is big. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So, um, anyway, so what I'm going to do right now before I set anything up is I'm actually going to um, conformal coat it. Uh, this is Hellfire Waterproofing Systems silicone conformal coating and these guys take care of me they they have in the past when i was with when i did a lot of rc rock crawling and so i get to uh i get to stick with this great company and move over into the fpv world so i'm uh excited to i mean this thing i'm gonna beat this thing into the snow all winter i live in southern utah so we get tons of snow and long winters and i don't plan on putting away my my drones for the winter so I've been waterproofing all my five inch stuff and now I get to do this one so sit tight and we'll get started so the next portion of this video is going to be plugging in all of the tuning that all the guys on the 2x power loop Facebook page which I will link in the description have worked ever so hard to figure out and do tons of research and testing and try to get the yaw spin and everything worked out of this and get it to where it just basically is locked in and flying perfectly and so I am going to show you how to do the CLI dump and take all those settings and put it right in and then how to customize a few other things but out of the box you could fly this as long as you've got an arm switch set up on channel one um, oh, that's cute that motor didn't want to start up um, as long as you've got an arm switch set up on your radio and you bind this you can go ahead and right out of the box you can start flying it and so activated yep we'll do the tuning next okay here we go in announcements so this is the 2s power loop group and this right here Nate Payne has done a whole bunch of work along with uh, a couple of other guys and so right here you've got Google Documents and this is what's basically been compiled to um, to make these things run nicely and then this right here is what we're going to copy and paste into our CLI window and then we're going to save it and it's going to reboot so we're going to go ahead and copy all this right here except save don't don't put that in yet so like that control C 
and then we're going to drop this window down we're going to plug in like so and we're going to go to CLI and we're going to get in our bar here and we're going to go control V enter and that just changed all those settings it's super easy like I said I'm going to link this Facebook page you're going to scroll down just like I did you're going to copy control C and then control V and paste it in here and then you're going to type in save and enter it's going to reboot with all those settings in place now we're going to go through um, the ports you don't need to do anything with the setup um, I've got arming flags of 3 and 17. 17 means that we're connected to a USB cable to beta flight and it's not going to arm. 3 means we've got no power from the receiver and that's because we've got no battery hooked up. So those are all normal. I do like to calibrate the accelerometer. It's kind of hard with whoops where the USB comes out the bottom because the cord's in the way but just try to get it as level as possible. Calibrate that. And it's not calibrating because I'm not holding it still enough. There we go. All right. Configuration D shot 300. And that is. I believe it was at D-Shot 600, and I, I believe that D-Shot 300 is one of the settings we just put into the CLI dump. Don't quote me on that, but I, I, I want to say that this comes set at, at 600 normally. Uh, 6.5 um, idle, that's something that we just changed with the CLI. Um, these come motor direction reversed. Now this is something that I, this is something that I feel like um, should be at 4. I, I don't feel like the PID loop needs to be as high as the gyro. Don't quote me on that either. That's personal preference. You do what you got to do. I'm going to leave the craft name. I think that's cool. Um, the arming is at 180. That's because this has a turtle mode to flip itself over. And we're already, this is already pre out of the box. It's a bind and fly, so all that's set where it needs to be. Um, air mode is not permanently enabled. Now, if you want to simply just just have air mode I recommend turning this on the way that I fly the quad I don't have this I've got it set up with air mode on a switch and there's one more thing that I'm gonna put into the CLI dump and I've covered this on my idle up mode um, video you can find in my YouTube channel and uh, what that does is make it so you can come in and and turn off air mode and when you drop your throttle to zero it actually closes the PID loop and does not um, use the gyro to try to correct so you can land a lot smoother without bouncing and flipping out of control. Um, we're going to leave this. I am going to set this at 300 on capacity. I keep bumping this camera. I apologize. I've got it set right in front of my hands. And so all this stuff right here we just changed. This is all from the CLI dump that we just did. And I'm going to add a little bit of expo just so it's whoop why is it not doing it there we go there we go so 20 on my expo everything else I'm gonna leave the way that they've got set up um, actually that's not true I'm gonna go ahead and change my super rate to 80 I apologize I I have no doubt that these settings are amazing this is just something that I really like 80 and 20 and uh, throttle boost at five that's really cool now here's something I do not agree with and maybe Nate can address this in the CLI dump you do not run iTerm rotation and iTerm relax together you turn off iTerm rotation this is a factory setting with Betaflight, Betaflight 3.5 and iTerm rotation is actually to help people who fly line of sight um, and it interferes with iTerm Relax. It's it's not the same and I also like roll pitch and yaw on my iTerm Relax. Now I, I find this interesting. We've got Smart Feed Forward off with this CLI dump but we've 
changed our smart feed forward to 96, 96, 100. Now this will not do anything at all without this being on. So something is, this needs to be addressed. Um, Anti-gravity at two, no, no, five, five inch quads, I run that to, from eight to 12, anywhere in there. Now, I think a lot of this stuff is gonna need to be addressed here. That's really strange. Maybe it's just gotten looked over. Now, one more thing in the CLI, and like I said, again, I'll link it in the description, but this is my idle up. You've gotta go back into your CLI and you've gotta type in set space um, PID underscore at underscore min underscore throttle space equals space off and then save. So when I come down in minimum throttle with air mode select switched off and I drop my throttle down to zero it's going to turn off my PID my PID loop and it's going to stop trying to correct the quad so that I can land nice and smooth and and it will just sit down and you can actually you can actually grab the propellers and stop them it, it, or you can tip the quad around you can pick it up and move it and it doesn't try to correct and, and go all crazy um gosh I feel like I'm forgetting something oh yep I am forgetting something so we're going to disconnect this we're going to go into BL Heli I've already got the battery hooked up. You will need the ESC powered up. You'll need the battery hooked up to do this. All right, we've got BL Heli configurator pulled up, battery plugged in. We're going to connect and we're going to read our setup. And then we're going to go and we're going to pull back up our Facebook page where we just took that CLI dump from. Okay, so here's some notes, and this maybe will explain some of what I just found, um, and then we'll get back to the BL Heli. So motor sh motor protocol, we have went from D-Shot 600 to 300, and this is up for debate. I, I'm i familiar with 600, and I really like it. I may switch that back. I guess we'll see. Motor stop off. You don't ever want your motors to stop spinning in the air, ever. Now, this is where that air mode enabled comes in if you want. To make sure of that, just go ahead and enable it. If you want to run this um, idle up mode like I do, it, it will still go into air mode when you're flying, but it'll turn off when you land. Motor idle 6.5, um, and a gravity gain 2 PIDs. And this is all done. Totally maxed out in the limit. I turn relax. Okay. So those are just extra notes on, on what was done. So this is what I wanted to see right here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change. Let me stop making noise. Uh, Startup power to 1.5. So we're going to go right here. We're going to go to 1.5. We're going to go back. Um, temperature protection. I, I actually run no temperature protection. I, I, don't, I don't remember where I heard that from, but... Um, low RPM protection is good and then high medium high and I'm going to change my beacon delay to five minutes if you lose your quad this will it'll start making a bunch of noise after five minutes and so that's just a setting that I run on everything so temperature I'm going to disable mine I've just always done that I don't know probably it's probably frowned against medium or high and then medium high and then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to leave that at 40 and 80, but I'm going to change this to go ahead and write setup. And it will go through reading setup, finished, and you're good there. That is all. I'm going to go try and fly this bugger a little bit. It's raining outside, so I can't do much, but thanks for watching.